You guys probably don't know, but I am a huge hoarder. I like literally always have been. Good morning, Dakota. Are you so comfy, snuggly? Are you not ready to wake up? You know it's noon. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Just look at that level of chill. You are so snuggly. Do you love hanging out on the couch? So as always, we have had a nice slow start to our morning today. Um, I don't think we have any huge plans that we need to like get done today. I know we need to go grocery shopping and Melissa needs, needs to change the battery in her car, but other than that, I think we're gonna kinda try and have an at-home day. I know Melissa has a bunch of stuff that she wants to get done, like, for her for her YouTube channel and, like, some other stuff, so, yeah, I think it might kinda just be a calm, relaxing work day for the most part. I'm gonna try and finish up adding in all the guest addresses for Save the Date, so I, like, have that completely done and I don't have to worry about that anymore, and, where are you going? So Melissa actually did just head out to go change the battery in her car, and that just leaves us two girls. She's not a fan whenever one of us leaves. I know. I know. Are you gonna hang out? Oh, you stink. You stinky. Yeah. Yeah, you got stinky breath. Thank you. <laughs> what are you gonna get done today, hmm? What are you gonna get done? You got lots of things to do? a new nail polish yesterday I thought now would be the perfect time to kind of go through my nail polish collection and get rid of some because I have like a whole drawer of nail polishes but I don't use a lot of them I kind of just tend to repaint my nails the same colors over and over again and you guys probably don't know but I am a huge hoarder I like literally always have been ever since I could grasp the concept of collecting things I have collected things I I don't know, I just can't, I have a hard time like throwing things away and I want to keep everything forever. But within the last maybe like year, two years, I've started to really try and focus on simplifying things and to get rid of all the clutter in my life because I was noticing that having all this extra junk around my home was really just making me feel so, I guess, overwhelmed and just like it made me feel mentally cluttered having all this stuff around. And so over the last couple of years, I've been really trying to go through everything that I own and get rid of what I really don't need and only keep what I do truly need and use and want to have. So yeah, anyways, long story short, I'm going to go through my nail polishes and I've already kind of gone through it before, but I like to go through things a couple of times because like I said, um, it's hard for me to get rid of things. And so the first time going through things it's a little hard for me to get rid of as much as maybe I should, and so going through the second time, it's easier to be a little, like, more ruthless, I guess. So anyways, yeah, with this new nail polish, I thought it was the perfect time to go through my nail polish collection and de-stash a bit. Okay, so this is my nail polish drawer, and this is all that I have. I know a lot of people wouldn't consider this a ton, and I know that it's not the biggest collection ever and that a lot of people... <laughs> Hi, little munchkin! have way more than me, but it's the fact that, um, I mean, I would say at least 50% of the nail polish in here is, it never gets used. I don't use it, and so why keep it, and, you know, I can't fit any more nail polishes in here. It's all, like, it's packed in there, and so I need to get rid of some, and, yeah, why keep nail polish that I don't even use? And a ton of it is, like, it's really, really old. I mean, definitely from, like, when I was in high school, maybe even when I was in middle school, and so it's most likely not even good anymore, and yeah, I need, I definitely need to get rid of some. So yeah, let's get started. 
All right, so I started off by literally emptying out every single nail polish I had from the drawer where I store them and kind of dividing them up by brand and also a little bit by like kind of type. So over here I have like um, base and top coats and then I have my French manicure little set thing. Revlon um, SC. I don't really know what that is. What is it? Sinful Colors. <laughs> um, OPI, NYC, SE, and then basically just my randoms. <laughs> and then I did leave some things in the drawer. I left like my tools that I store in there. Mostly they're a bunch of like nail files and I have this like, I don't even know, electronic little kit thing that like, I i don't think I've literally ever used it, but I can't get rid of it. I don't know. I keep telling myself I'm going to use it because it's like cool. I should probably just throw it away, honestly. It's like a decade old and I've literally never used it since I bought it. So I'm throwing it away. Okay, so anyways, back to the nail polish. Um, now that I kind of have them out and sorted by their brand, I don't know why, I just like kind of having all the different types together with, you know, their brand. Anyways, I'm going to go through and start picking out some to get rid of. And I have my little emotional support over here. <laughs> hey, Munchkin. You going to help me de-stash some nail polishes? <laughs> She's a huge help. Okay, so these were all the nail polishes that I was able to declutter. I am definitely very happy. I kind of narrowed things down. This is my collection now. And yeah, I was super ruthless. A lot of them I got rid of because they were like old and they were just like completely watery or they were all dried up and they just, I mean, the nail polish just wasn't good anymore because some of them I would, I would have kept, like I really liked this OPI Ridge Filler, but it was... Which is funny because it's not even, it's not even like one of the oldest nail polishes I have. It's actually pretty recent. I bought it within the last couple of years, but it, for some reason, it is like completely dried up and all sorts of like chunky. So yeah, I had to get rid of that. And then there were some, I mean, literally <laughs> NYC. I'm pretty sure this is from middle school. I can't imagine I would have bought this nail polish any later than middle school. And it's black. <laughs> so yeah, there's just a bunch of really old stuff. There's like just colors that I wouldn't really wear. There was some colors, like I got rid of this because I have like four different kind of coppery nail polishes and yeah, so that's kind of my whole de-stashed section. And now I'm going to put the rest of my current collection back into the drawer and see how much room I made. Oh my god, that's so much better. Look at how much space I have now. I am so happy I did that. I have room for so much more new nail polish now. Like that, I'm so... So happy. I don't think I've ever done such a good declutter of my nail polish. I have pretty much like half that drawer left to use if I want. I can make, you know, scooch these up to kind of make a little more room. But yeah, super happy with that. And yeah, I think I might try and paint my nails now. One thing I have learned from my decluttering kicks in the last like year or two is that like the reason I hold on to things is I'm so worried that once I get rid of them, I'm going to like need them or I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to regret getting rid of it. And I found, honestly, that that really pretty much never happens. I I honestly can't even think of one time where I was like, oh, I wish I didn't get rid of that. So yeah, if that's what's holding you back from kind of getting rid of the extra clutter that you've, you know, accumulated in your life, I would kind of, you know, like reconsider and know that it's, it's really not as bad as you think it's going to be. And if you get rid of it and you are able to part with it, most likely you are never going to think about it again. Like, honestly, I know... All these nail polishes, even a couple of them are a little bit hard for me to like get rid of. I'm like, oh, I don't really have that exact color now, but I know that in the future I am literally never going to think of that again. And if there is a color that I want, honestly, I can buy a new nail polish that would be better quality because it's, you know, new and not years old. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on like decluttering and simplifying. So if you like kind of seeing me go through and get rid of my stuff, I guess, let me know because I definitely, I... I feel so good after it. It just feels like a weight is lifted every single time I declutter. So I would love to share that with you guys. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing in the vlogs. Came down to see how the battery changing was going. Looking super worker chic down here. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I hope I'm not breaking my car. <laughs> I guess the moment of truth will be in a couple minutes when it starts or not. Yeah. Either that or that's not what's wrong with you. Oh yeah, I think it is. Your dad thought it was. I brought this little munchkin down with me and she is like thoroughly confused by what is going on. <laughs> Not sure why we're just hanging out in the road. <laughs> All right, so we are heading out to the grocery store and I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing because I kind of wanted your opinion on it. I'm not 100% sold on it, but yeah. Sorry, I kind of need to figure out the lighting situation for this mirror. It's the windows behind me and so it's like literally impossible. So I'm trying to get it as best lit as I can. 
So, all right, so what I'm wearing is like a little tank top with lace like on the top underneath and then this just beige long sleeve shirt. And then I have this little like kind of fly away thing over it. I don't know, I always have such a hard time wearing it. Like I like it, I think it's cute, but like I'm not sure if it like looks weird. It's a little hard to see in the mirror. But like, uh, there you can kind of get a little bit better of an idea. Kind of has like little edging around. Hello. Like huh? I like that. Yeah, you do? Okay, I was just asking them what they think because I'm not sure. I always have a hard time like, I don't know, I just, it's out of my comfort zone. So yeah. And then I'm wearing some light jeans. And then I'm wearing these earrings which Melissa's mom got for me on a recent trip. I just think they're like the cutest thing ever and I love the like little... Like, those are two of my favorite colors, so yeah, I love these earrings. But yeah, let me know what you think. All right, so we're back from Whole Foods, and I wanted to do another quick grocery haul for you guys, because this is more what a, like, normal trip to the grocery store looks like for us on, like, an average week. So do you want to, like, just pull things out, and I'll talk about them? Sure. Okay. All right, so we got some spinach that we're going to eat for dinner tonight in, like, a pork bowl Asian-style thing. We got, uh, pork rinds, which we opened and tried in the car. We got these, and they were not good because it has like fat attached to them, and so it, like it's like mushy just and it's weird just texture. weird. Like, mushy and crushy, the not what we were like expecting. Them. Yeah. So all right, so we got a pound of roast beef, so I can have that with my um, pretzel crisps, and Melissa can eat it for lunch I too. The cheese. <sighs> we forgot the cheese. Well, we still have some. Yeah, we have some but... cheese. We got some grapes for snacking. All right. Oh, we got me a blemish stick. I want it. I've been trying to find the Burt's Bees one that has like tea tree oil for a while. There we go. All right. So it is by Desert Essence and it is called the Blemish Touch Stick. And so like I was saying, I've been trying to find the Burt's Bees ones, but I like literally can't find it anywhere. I looked at Target yesterday. I looked at Whole Foods today. And so the girl that worked at Whole Foods recommended this one to me and said that it works really, really well. So I'm definitely excited to give that a try. Back to you. We got some potatoes. Vitamin D. I take vitamin D every day. We were running out, so we got some more. Half and half. Lactose free milk. <laughs> the concept of this. Just like, <laughs> what? People do this. I, I know people do it. It's funny. Regular fat free milk. Why is it interesting? Though? I don't know. It's just like, it's, why it's, do people find this interesting? I think I'm it's not, interesting to like see what I'm other not people like eat. Judging it, I'm just like, I know. What about this is like? Because people are nosy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why vlogging is so interesting. All right, we got some blue corn chips, and we also Lucky opened Fritos. those. Yeah, we also opened those in the car, and those are good. They do. They taste like healthy Fritos, like less salty Fritos. We awesome. got popcorn because we were running out. We got some coffee, because again, we were running out. <laughs> I guess that's like the essence of a grocery store trip. <laughs> um, Melissa got some dark chocolate macaroon Mary Bites. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Open those, too. <laughs> Basically, we got munchie in the car on the way home. We got some brown rice pasta, gluten-free for Melissa. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. Just put it, yeah, in the right room, the, yeah. Um, marinara sauce? Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Just for spaghetti? What did we get that for? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. It's on sale. Okay. I'm gonna eat it. And we got two... Butternut What are those? Butternut squashes. I, could, I almost said uh, spaghetti, but I was like, I know they're not spaghetti squashes. And that's it? That's it. That's it! <laughs> Melissa said wait. What? <laughs> Did we get a palm at the store? We were running out of those. We got one more thing. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. There you go. Okay. It's okay. Come here. That didn't go. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You're, you're not going to. You can't hand it to me. Put it down. Okay. Oh, she mad at you. Well, she used a sticker in your purse when she was a puppy. Well, yeah, but that was different. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you okay, Munchkin? I know, that was kind of dramatic. She's
So Melissa is downstairs getting dinner started and I wanted to talk a little bit more about my new um, blemish stick. So the reason that I wanted um, kind of like a natural um, spot treatment thing is because for a while I was using Clinique's like cl spot clearing gel I think it's called and I was using that for years. But recently I started phasing out salicylic acid products from my skincare routine just to kind of give that a try because I've tried a bunch of other things and nothing seems to work. And my skin honestly really seemed to respond to natural skincare and kind of cutting out that salicylic acid. And so yeah, um, since I've done that and since I ran out of my Clinique spot treatment gel, I haven't had like a replacement spot treatment. And so I've been wanting to give something with tea tree oil in it a try. And like a couple weeks ago, I don't know, I found the Burt's Bees one and... Like I said, I've been trying to find it ever since to buy it, and I just can't find it. And yeah, so I'm really excited to try this out. So what's in it is natural grain alcohol, witch hazel, tea tree oil, rosewood, calendula oil, I just basically a bunch of oils. I don't know. Those are like the main things. It goes on forever. I'm going to try and I'll actually see if I can get it for you guys. Hopefully that focused for you. I can't really see. I don't have a flip up screen. But yeah, so hopefully you can see the ingredients. And okay, so here's a description. It says a combination of nine natural extracts and essential oils specially blended together in order to leave skin looking clear and radiant. The known antiseptic properties of tea tree oil work to diminish skin imperfections while chamomile, lavender, palmer palmarosa, wintergreen, and calendula soothe and nourish the skin. So yeah, and it comes in this like little... I assume it's like a roller ball. Oh, the packaging is really nice. It has this like frosted glass bottle and then like a rose gold, I'd say, cap. So yeah, it's like a roller ball. And that's what it looks like. I'm really excited to give this a try. I think this will be awesome. But yeah, so I'll be using this over the next couple of weeks and I'll let you guys know what I think. Melissa's getting my Ikea print all hung up. We decided to hang it over the vanity because it was just too big to hang to the side. So, yep, that's what she's doing. Doing an awesome job at it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm kind of being useless because I just painted my nails, but I love the color. I've been wanting, like, a dark gray like this for quite a while now, and I'm really excited I finally got one. In case you didn't watch the other day's vlog, it's the Petal Pushers Nail Polish by Essie. And, yeah, I really like how it turned out. Sorry I couldn't be more useful. <laughs> Alright, and the finished product. Maybe not. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks good. Yay! I love it. It does, it looks good. Yeah, thanks, Annie. <laughs> Unimpressed. Stop doing that. It's coming along nicely. Now I just gotta get some stuff to put on the left of the vanity so it's not so right centered. <laughs> Thanks, I love you. And now I'm gonna get back to Gossip Girl and finish painting my nails. All right, so my manicure is all done. I kind of wanted to give you guys a better peek at it. So what I used for a base coat was this Revlon Firminail base and top coat. It's really old. I really need to buy a new base coat, but yeah, I've been using another one and it's like gotten so low that the brush doesn't really reach it anymore. So I had to turn to this one. And then I just had to use a single coat of this Essie um, Petal Pushers nail polish. So I was really happy with it. It gave a really nice solid coat of color and yeah I'm really happy I love when nail polishes only need one coat to look good because then I mean it's just that much easier and then on top of that I used the OPI top coat and this is the one that I use all the time I really like it and yeah I definitely plan to be buying to buy um another one once I run out of this it's really fast drying and nice it keeps my manicures on for quite a while and yeah this isn't the best job I've ever done but I don't know I'm really happy with how it turns out it looks a little blue on camera right now but it definitely is like a really dark gray I don't know it's, it's really nice and it's definitely exactly what I was hoping it would be all right so it is dinner time and we are having one of Melissa and my new favorite like kind of dinners for dinner tonight <laughs> it's like a quinoa bowl and so it has quinoa on the bottom and then 
raw baby spinach and some butternut, butternut squash. Why can't I can't like remember that it's butternut for some reason? We eat it all the time. I don't know what today is, but anyways, okay, butternut squash, and then we have um, pork tenderloin. What kind of like sauce is on it? Um, I used garlic infused olive oil, soy sauce, maple syrup, and mustard. Yum. This I've tried it. It's really good. It's supposed to be yellow mustard, but we didn't have yellow mustard, so I used Dijon. You can't go wrong with upgrading to Dijon. <laughs> and anyways, then the last thing on top is a, is it the three cheese Parmesan blend? Yeah, that we always use on lots of our stuff, and yeah. Looks really good, and I can't wait to dig in. Oh my god, that dinner was so good. I'm so full now. <laughs> we seriously love making those little quinoa bowls. There's like so many possibilities that you can like put in them. We put like, you just need like a meat, a squash, some quinoa, some spinach, or other like lettuce, and we've put like, what have we put before? Like little nuts, or like pine nuts, and almonds. We've put like fruit in it. Fruit's really good, like raspberries. Sometimes you like put a little bit of olive oil just to kind of like give it some moisture if it needs it. I don't know, it's like one of my new favorite meals. We just discovered it this fall, and I am like so obsessed with them. Highly, highly recommend. So we're about to head to bed. We just watched the first episode of uh, The Walking Dead this season. Thoughts? I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. Spoilers. No, no spoilers. No spoilers in my vlog. Okay, tell us. <laughs> I, don't know. I hate watching shows as they air. I know. I'm, yeah. Benching them is so much better. It is. It takes away from it when you can't, like. I know. Well, I, for every, I feel like every episode I watch, I, like, forget what is happening. Like, I can't. I can't yeah. remember everything that you like need to remember and know and like we started watching how to get away with murder mm -hmm. and I was so like I was totally into the show and then we caught up I was not aiming it at us sorry <laughs> Anyways. well anyway how to get away with murder and we started watching it a couple weeks ago and we like we got caught up with it and then now because we like, had like the first two seasons on Netflix mm -hmm. and now I'm not as into it as we're watching it, like, air, one by because one. it's, like, once every week. Yeah, I feel like when you can watch a couple episodes at a time, you can, like, really get fully, like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Divulged. No. I want to say, like, enveloped, but that's not the word that I'm looking for. I don't know. You can get, like, fully <laughs> into it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But, yeah, we're going to head to bed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like this video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night.